today I wanted to do a video for you showing you the Kat Von D uh, Monarch palette. I haven't used it before this tutorial and I've had it for quite some time so I wanted to dig into it and see how well these shadows performed and I actually really like it. It's a very pretty kind of neutral palette and I did find throughout the tutorial that these shadows do kind of um, kick up a lot of product but I didn't really have much fallout on my face which is nice but you really do have to tap out your brush before applying the product to avoid having fallout all over your face. But besides that, I really like these shadows and I think that they're extremely pigmented. So I think that it's a great palette and if you haven't tried it already, you definitely should. I am going to um, probably post a review and pictures and swatches on my blog of this palette as well. So I will link that down below once that is posted. All right guys, so I will zoom in so you guys can see the look. So as you can probably tell, I was in the mood to do more of kind of a vampy, darker, smoky look, and I really like the way that it came out. So if you'd like to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. So to start off this look, which I've already done, is I just applied some of my Max Pagerly Paint Pot all over the lid and a little bit underneath the lower lash line. So next I'm going to be taking this shadow here from the Kat Von D Monarch palette, and this is called Killing Jar. And I'm taking that on my Sigma Taper Blending E40 brush. And I'm just going to blend that shadow right into the crease and really work it in. Next I'm going to be taking this kind of um, maroonish brown color, it's called Shadow Box. And I'm taking that on my Sigma Blending E25 brush. And the shadow's going to go right in the actual crease area. And try not to blend it too far up. But also blend some of it onto the lid as well. And then going back in again with my E40 with no extra product, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking a mixture of two shadows. I'm going to be taking Vanish, which is this more pink toned shadow. Then I'm going to be taking Telepathy, which is this kind of silvery taupe shadow here. And I'm using my Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. And then I'm just packing both of those shadows onto the lid. Now I'm just going to go back in again with a little bit more of Shadow Box and just add that to the outer corner and up into the crease a little bit. And then again, just blend that out with the E40. All right, now I'm going in with my Sigma Large Fluff E50 brush and I'm going to be taking this yellow toned highlighter shade. This is Tiny Death. And I'm just placing this underneath the brow and also just kind of around that blown out crease area. So now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in again with Killing Jar and I'm using my Sedona Lace 904 brush and I'm just going to lay this down as a base. And next I'm going to be taking Deadhead, which is this very pretty kind of orange color and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line. And then over top of that, I'm going to go in with Shadow Box again. And I'm just going to run that along the outer portion of the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of Killing Jar again and just kind of smoke that out a bit more. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be taking this shadow here. And this one is called Entomology. And I'm using my Sigma Shader Crease E47 brush. And I'm just going to place that on the inner corner. I'm also taking some of that underneath my brow. Next I'm just going to tight line my upper and lower water lines. For my lower water line, I'm going to be using this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. And this one is in Berry Merry. And then for the top, I'm just going to use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. And this is in Black Fever. And then I'm also just going to do my wing liner and some mascara. For my liner, I'm just using the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Liner Pen. And for my mascara, I'm using the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal. So I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back to show you how to finish up the rest of the face. 
Alright, so before I set my foundation, which I actually am trying out the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation, I am going to um, put on my highlighter because I'm going to be using a liquid highlighter today. And this one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this is in Moonstone. So honestly, this is too much. You really don't need a lot of this highlighter at all. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit and just place that right on my cheekbones. And you can just see how pretty that is. It's such a pretty highlighter. Alright, so now I'm just going to set my face with the Purely Cosmetics um, Diamond Perfect Finishing Powder. And to do that, I am just taking my Sigma Large Powder F20 brush. And for my bronzer, I'm just going to be taking my Jane Bronzer in Dream. And for my brush, I'm just using my Sigma Tapered F25 brush. And for my blush today, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Blush, and this one is in Warm Soul. And I'm using my Sigma Duo Fiber F15 brush. So for my lips, I'm just going to line them with my Milani Nude Lip Liner. And for my lipstick, I'm using MAC's Goddess of the Sea lipstick. Okay guys, so that is the completed look. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. And if you guys have not tried out the Kat Von D Monarch palette, I would highly recommend it. I think that it's a really nice palette and it has tons of neutral shades and you can really create some nice smoky looks or some more wearable looks with this palette. So I would definitely check it out if you haven't already. Please make sure to follow me on all my social media networks. They're always linked down below. I have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm trying to be more active on my Twitter. I kind of neglected it for a little while, but I'm always posting on Instagram. So make sure to definitely follow me there as well as my other ones as well. And if you'd like to see more pictures of this look, as well as the full list of products used, please make sure to check out my blog, which is also linked down below. Alright guys, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.